Welcome to Al's Outdoors. It's uh, a couple days after Christmas and I haven't been doing too good. I should have had two coyotes, but uh, there's a cat been in here the last couple of days and it's not very big either. That last one was only 13 and a half pounds, smallest one I ever caught. But I don't know. We'll stick with it and see. We went through some pretty severe weather and it's warming up now, so we'll probably start catching stuff we don't want. We'll see. 22 below wind chill. Rain last night was 45. And uh, solid ice underneath this snow. Gotta check them every day. I gotta get out of here. I don't know how much filming I can do. Alright, I had to put another set in right there the other day. My file was corrupt. But I had a toe catch right here. This was laying clear over like that. I think it was back foot because he got leverage on that bank right there. It was a coyote and he pulled out. I tried to video it and evidently it didn't turn out. But how do I know it was a toe catch? There's nothing in the jaws. You see all that mud under the pan? That pan's clear up there. It wasn't a very good catch and it's froze like a brick. So I'm going to pull it out of here. After this point, the traps getting dug up continued for a while. I don't know what happened, but GoPros are goofing up. It's only giving me 30 seconds to film. I'm going to have to look at it. But I had one down there, corrupt file. It uh, was a toe catch, and he pulled out coyote. And then this one here that dug my trap out, that trap was froze. I haven't been right up to it in a while. I should have redone it. I redone everything yesterday, but two... I don't know, we'll see. All the snow's gone pretty much overnight. <laughs> 62 degrees today. Gonna be warm for a week or two. I suppose we'll start catching some trash critters. We'll see, been pretty slow. Looks like we got dug out in this one a little off to the side right there. If you look real close, see a little piece of sheep's wool there. Huh. Trap's right there. We'll get it. Well, I snapped that off, but something really dug me out right there. I can't tell what it is. We're gonna look for tracks. Uh, had to redo this one the other day, and the only thing I had was peat moss. Let's see, check this out. Track, 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 track track everything thawed out real fast and i suppose it fluffed up i don't know but my pan's right there <laughs> completely missed it <sighs> my daughter's boyfriend wanted to learn how to trap because they got a bunch of chickens and stuff and me and him threw this set in two days ago Whew. I don't see how there's possums in here. He's just sleeping right now. <sighs> We're gonna reset her. We've seen bobcat tracks twice now right in here. One time. And uh, the other time was right over in there. We've already got set up there. He walked within about 15 feet of it, but we're gonna reset this. Smack them, they pass out, and they don't know what's going on now. I'll get back. This set has been messed with like five times. This is the one the trap was dug out of at one time. I ain't been filming much, ain't much going on. There's a trail going down through there into some thick, thick. Up there's where we originally found bobcat and coyote tracks. So, what I've done. As I come down here and completely blowed that out like a step down and just throw dirt everywhere. But also, kick the leaves around like there was a fuss. There was an injured deer back here behind us we was tracking yesterday. We're not sure if it got shot. It is late doe season. They might be after it or whatever, but this thing's shy. I seen these tracks in the snow. It's a coyote, pretty good size. We've got pictures of them with real good fur, 
but in this step down here you know you, you got your trench there is a one and a half right there duke one and a half and then there's a duke number two dogless right there so if he's cautious and he comes in to look down in the hole hopefully we'll get him now i do think we had a fox dig us out from this side that one time so i put a lot of rocks right there he might come around trying to figure it out that's why i used a one and a half we'll see if y'all haven't tried tandy's lures he just come out with a new bait and he's had these lures he's just kind of getting started uh bluegrass trapper on youtube has caught a quite a few coyotes on this stuff works good we try to support everybody and i'm gonna throw some down in that hole try them out all right the wonderful gopro is a piece of crap and it won't record i'm gonna throw me a snare in right there I've seen a coyote twice do that i'm gonna throw me a snare in right there because i am tired of this that was a good set Looks like the Duke one and a half took care of him. Uh, at least some fur moved finally. Okay, resetting everything today. I ran out of peat and, and dirt that I had with me. So I put me, I did have just a tiny bit of dry dirt. I put it underneath my trap. I got a big hole back under that log. This is one of the ones the coyotes dug out. The lowest spot is that long moss right there. That's where my pan's at. I covered it with grass leaves and a little bit of moss. We're going to get an inch of snow tonight. It'll work till I get back. Sorry about the wind and the road noise, but I'm waiting on my buddy. We're going to go set a beaver trap or two. Maybe some coyote sets. Feller's having some trouble, so maybe we'll have better luck over there. I don't know. Couldn't find any really fresh beaver sign, but we did find muskrat tracks, bobcat tracks, and that's what we went after. I'm pretty tired of this. Not sure what went on. Probably a deer. They've really been moving. I don't know. Kind of looks like a deer track right there. Uh, okay, we got coyotes coming up through here, and for whatever reason, they're turning around going back that way instead of down there where I need them. So I got some turds from another property. Put some coyote clan lure on it. I got some leggets on that post right there. The set is right there. A couple dirt clumps behind it. There's a little tiny punch hole right there. You can see my sheep's wool and all predator. We're gonna shove it down in there. It's about the size of my pinky and it's real close to the trap and it's vertical. Straight up and down. We'll see. There we go. There's my little punch hole. The pan's really close to it. Everything else, that's a little farther. You can see. That's probably, I don't know, 10, 12 inches to the pan if he wants to pee on it. Then we got the poop right there. He ought to walk around here a little bit. We'll see.
Well, these traps ain't been bothered once this season. Looks like my digger finally found me. Maybe we got him up here in this double set. <clears throat> Come up here and barely pulled the sheep's wool out. It's been raining, snowing, freezing, thawing. It's driving me nuts. I can't find a track nowhere because it snowed. We'll try and figure it out. Uh, I'll get back to you. Well, we're on a different property. I'm not running a lot of traps, but they're quality sets. That's not what I want. It sure is interesting. Look at the color on that big old possum. He's sleeping. I mean, I got a big, big foot. That's a big possum. We'll take that one, damn it. Whew. Well, we come down here and trap's gone. Looks like there might be something out there. Pull that up, Key. Yeah. Finally got us a muskrat. And an old jump trap, too. I'll get him up out of here and reset. Well, I didn't think I had anything again today. I don't know why they're not drowning in this one. There's a stick this time. I don't know where that comes from. Got this little mean critter. That'll be number four. And get this reset. Yeah. I hope you can see that. We got another rat. But this one didn't drown. He's pretty. All righty. All right, we got three muskrats on blind sets. I baited them today with carrots. And well, sorry, I forgot to tell you, Keith shot one. Yeah, I guess it was watching that live one there, but uh, two of them was in blind sets. Not doing any good on the bobcats and coyotes, but we're still working on it. Well, if my GoPro worked finally, whew, I got the smaller one finally. What a mess mangy looking we've been assuming this one's a female got a pretty deep pad catch man it's done nothing but rain 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 i wish you had better fur i've worked hard for you has something been around both front legs i can see a line right there i'm kind of in the trap circle here but i don't know it looks like it was caught in something well, where we very first found sign this year, and he dug my trap out being a smart aleck. It, I think it might be a female. I got a very small mangy one. I wish the fur was better, but oh well. But, uh, whew, I've worked hard for that. This thing on video run up to my snare the other night. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy who just run like crazy away from it. Stopped on a dime. I'll try to show you the footage right here. Whew. Later, y'all. Number two dogless, I forgot to tell you. Deep, deep pad catch. There's a one and a half in this mud somewhere, right about in here. I can't even find it. A lot of rain. There's your better look. I don't even want to touch that. Might take it home, bring it to my dog if I do. That belly looks terrible. It is a female. It, uh, this one's not going home with me. This one's pretty sick. And uh, you can tell by the tail. That tail ought to have a lot more fur on it. But, uh, that's pretty rough. At least we got a female out of here. There won't be no pups eating fawns. Uh, yeah. a lot of work I doubt we catch that big male she was running with I don't know but we'll try it's only two we've been seeing we've got cameras everywhere 
I pulled them in about three days after pulling them cameras, I caught that coyote. So she probably wasn't afraid of the set. She's probably afraid of that camera. I, I think they can see IR or something. Anyway, I wanted to thank Trapper Jay and Tandy's Lures. I had uh, Stanky Beaver in there and uh, some of Tandy's Gland Lure. I think it was uh, Gunslinger. And uh, good stuff, guys. Keep it up. Y'all support them if you can. We didn't have a lot of precipitation, but... <sighs> Daggum, this crick come up. Had one snapped off back there with some muskrat belly hair in it. This one here stretched tight. Uh, you can see fish oil coming up where I put fish oil up here for a can. Oh yeah. Nice rat. Back foot catch. Nice rat. Awesome. I see some tracks here. Broke a magnet. That water comes up here hard to find. Uh, that one's still set. You can kind of see it right there. All right. More rat. I'd like to keep getting them on make a pair of gloves or something. Uh, I'm gonna chair. Something didn't look right. It was curled up to sleep. Boy, I have worked and worked. That is a big, big, big cat. Holy crap, y'all. Big cat. I'm going to... Well, I guess I got him good enough. That is a beautiful big cat. Wowza. <coughs> got him on Tandy's gland lure again. And uh, uh, Trapper Jay's stanky beaver. I did have some of my homemade bobcat gland in there for a while. Man, that is a big cat. This might, I don't know. It could come close to my biggest that is a big big cat wow well usually things shrink after you say it's big that's a big cat and here's the remake i planted me some grass that's what i've done after i caught that giant possum right here in the same spot there's wax dirt in the trap right there I put cat turds there this time it was coyote turds before I really thought we'd get coyote here but sure am glad to get that big cat i saw small bobcat tracks in here but uh, wow it's a dandy i don't know if it's my biggest or not but it's big trap was out here like this caught a mouse in the barn yesterday and threw it, or a couple days ago and threw him down that hole There's the mouse. I don't know if you can see that hair. Or... But the good news is, I don't know where it went. There was a little black comp of hair right there, so I'm thinking it was a, maybe a possum. I just fixed a set over there where he dug out a mouse and uh, all my sheep's wool. I think it was a possum. Uh, well, this is hard to get through. Uh, I fell off this bank right here the other day. Went all the way down and it was froze. I busted through about three eighths of an inch of ice. That was cold, filled my boots. It was terrible. Uh, but today, I think one of my traps is missing here, but we got this little muskrat. Let's see what else we got going on. You dead, buddy. Are you dead? Oh, <laughs> both traps. He's in an old jump trap. He's in a Victor Long Spray. He got both of them. That's wild because one of them was set right here with potato roots sticking up. The other one was sitting clear over here. Oh my. Ah, it's always a good day to get them. Well, 
I can't tell from over here. Something's wrong up here, but I put my, what did I say, my homemade bobcat gland. I don't remember, stinky beaver, I think. I don't remember exactly. But uh, had three traps messed with on the other property. And oh my word, two days in a row, same set. <laughs> Woo, look at that. I bet that's his girlfriend. Oh crap. You ain't caught very good. Stay, stay, stay. He left me a bunch of pee yesterday, maybe. I don't know, same set? Wow. Don't you come over here. <laughs> don't you come over here. <laughs> I'm I think it's a female, we'll see. Not caught very good. Two days in a row. That's crazy.